Okay, so I'm already recording it. Okay, so welcome everybody again. So today is going to be the module 4 of our TR90 consultant. Okay, so congratulations for those who have attended from uh, module 1 to module 4. Okay, I know outside is raining heavily. Okay, <laughs> uh, it's good because the weather has been very hot, right? So I think uh, it's very, very, it's a lot of blessing lah, for all of us. Okay, so those who are at, uh, on the road, okay, be careful. Okay, uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm going to start my uh, sharing on module 4. Okay? Okay, if you're ready, give a thumbs up. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay, so module 4, we are going to actually talk about active lifestyle and some uh, FAQ. And if you have any questions, you can ask. And then uh, if you are shy or you're not ready, maybe you can ask after that, okay? Okay, so let's start. Okay, so like I've uh, explained earlier, actually we have uh, in TR90, right? As a consultant, you must know that TR90 includes three uh, things, which is the first one is on innovative products, which we uh, do, did it uh, in module two. Okay, and then we have simple eating plan, which is in module three, and then active lifestyle in module four. So everybody who has uh, who has taken uh, TR90, okay, the, their success is based on these three items, okay? So if you met someone, okay, as a consultant or as someone who is trying to introduce TR90 and then you meet someone who told you that, oh, TR90 doesn't work for him or her and ask them these three questions. So did you take all the supplements? Did you skip the supplements or do you, are you diligent in taking the supplements? Okay, second, how about the eating plan? Do you follow the simple eating plan that your consultant has given you? Okay, for your information, we all have, uh, in global success, we all have our meal plan, okay? Or we call it the makan plan. So if you still haven't received it, please ask from your mentor, okay? They will pass it to you. Okay, and today, uh, active lifestyle. So again, if your client or your friend say that TR90 doesn't work, but because they didn't include active lifestyle, I didn't say exercise, but active lifestyle, it means that, that's the reason why it doesn't work on that. Okay, so TR90 will work, okay, depending on whether you follow the whole program or you are a good student, okay? So the role of a consultant here is very, very important, okay? Because uh, you must be caring enough for your client, you must care and concern for your client and make sure that you follow up with your client very, very uh, diligently, okay? Uh, because I feel that it's our responsibility when we introduce someone with TR90, right, it's our responsibility to do our best. But if your client or your friend feels that he or she do not want you to uh, interfere and after you talk to him and things like that, right, but they still refuse, then we respect their decision. So uh, the first most important thing is, number one, if you want to start them, you must ask them about their goals. Okay, whether they really want to lose weight or not. Okay, okay next one. Okay, do you exercise consistently? Okay, now for me personally, I don't, uh, my exercise, my form of exercise is brisk walking. Okay, and I love brisk walking. Okay, so like uh, some of us, every Tuesday, we have our daily, it's a weekly walk. Okay, and uh, why we choose Tuesday? Because you don't uh, run with the crowd. Okay, and it's true enough, one in three Singaporeans, okay, they are not, uh, yeah, wait, to check. Oops, I cannot see your chat. Ah. Anyway. Okay, one in three Singaporeans, right, they are not uh, active enough. Okay, so it is expected. Uh, now, as a consultant, right, you must uh, chance upon them the importance of being active. They, in this program, right, after three months, your client has to adopt a healthy lifestyle. Means before that person may not be active or may be eating a lot of junk food. But after your guidance and after taking the program, they must transform, okay? So that is our job. Our job is to transform them to become a healthy, uh, to, be, to start their own healthy lifestyle after the whole three months, okay? Okay, same as our counterparts, the Malaysians, 75% is like the same, right? 75 Malaysians do not exercise at all, okay? So most of us are being uh, stuck in the office, you know, doing work at home. Now it's uh, work from home. So they really work from home and their traveling is from the laptop to the fridge. Okay. So we have a very big role to play, uh, consultants. Okay. 
Now, these are some of the things which uh, maybe can, you know, can give them suggestions. Okay, so uh, besides, okay, this is the so-called the exercise that we talk about, right? Exercise. Okay, so there's these two things, cycle five times per week, uh, cycle 30 minutes each time. Or which one is better lah? Or swims one to two uh, times. Okay, sorry, I cannot see. One to two times per week. Or swim one to two times. Uh, sorry, one to two hours each time. Okay. Okay, there's actually no uh, right and wrong. Uh, there isn't saying that, okay, cycling is better. I cannot cycle. Not that I cannot cycle, but I got phobia with cycling. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't cycle. Okay. Uh, swim, I can swim. But again, the reason why I don't swim is because I'm not really... I don't really like the, you know, idea that you have to change after that. It's very, very troublesome lah for me. Okay, but these two exercises, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, correct, Farid. Now I can see the chat. Okay, Farid say that the active lifestyle has to be part of our life lah. Yes, it must be long term. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Rosanna says swimming is more fun. Okay, I have to read out the chat so that when it's recorded, right, you can uh, capture it lah. Oh, you cannot swim, eh, Wani? Actually, swimming is very good. Both swimming and cycling, right, is cardio exercises. Okay, but it depends, lah. Like, uh, you know, cycling, you really have to, you know, get a bike in the first place. If not, you probably have to rent. And then you must learn how to cycle, right? Okay, and the hassle is you have to go out to a place where you can go and ride. Okay, now, now swimming, another thing is, is very good. Uh, basically, these two... Uh, I would say the amount of uh, calories that you uh, burn is slightly more in swimming. Okay, because swimming, right, you are going against the water current or there's another medium that you have to <laughs> you have to go against and uh, it gives that extra uh, burning of the calories. Okay, but again, the, the, the thing that is not so uh, easy for swimming, right, example, you must look at the uh, swimming pool uh, opening time and then if it's raining like now, you cannot uh, go and swim. Yes, correct. Less stress on joints. Okay, so like for myself, I have uh, scoliosis. I had scoliosis, so I had operation on my back. So my doctor also advised me to swim. Okay, because it's going to be very helpful for my joint.
It's so cute. Everybody is texting and they're not talking. <laughs> Why is Abang Farid doing? <laughs> Swimming, eh? Let's do some dancing. <laughs> Nature is all of plus. <laughs> Check out zero move, Anybody friend. Anybody got let's car go. dancing moves? <laughs> car dancing moves? Anybody got car dancing moves? Like this? Car dancing. I can't only move my I'm face. I'm so sejuk. I'm so sejuk, man. Iqbal can share some workout videos. OG say. Iqbal kat luar, kat luar kot ye. Maybe we sing a birthday song for Nasrullah. Yes. Yes. Is he here? No. It's not here. <laughs> Oh, it's not here. <laughs> Never mind, recorded one, right? Who wants to start? Sana hair wire gummy. I only know how to sing that part. Sorry, the, the other language I know is Chinese. Lah. <laughs> <laughs> Mandarin also can lah. Hmm. <laughs> so start, Lena. Ah, huh? ha. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> 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 It's okay, Ujian Rahmat. Alhamdulillah. Ayeh, tak lah yang ni sorang sorang. Kita namanya. sing ah. <laughs> what you think, ah? Can we sing a birthday song for Nasrullah? Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I'm asking yeah. Hana. What is she eating? Yeah. What am I eating? Yeah. I'm eating something so that I won't get sleepy when I drive. I'm, I'm, I'm eating the... while driving and listening to <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so I won't yeah. be sleepy, is it? Yeah, multitasking ah. Yeah la, that's that's quite bad la. I like to multitask in a car. My brother will always, uh, you know, point out to me don't multitask when driving. <laughs> hey, actually, what happened ah? What? What happened <laughs> ah? Yeah, what happened to OG? I think her battery flat. <laughs> oh, the battery of the in out, in out, in out. I didn't know. I thought it was me. Yeah, I thought it was my reception also, but it's not. Oh, Nasrullah is here. Okay, Ken. <laughs> Happy birthday, Nasrullah. Happy birthday. How young are you? Are you 15, 16? Thank you. <laughs> Kak Fana wants to sing you a birthday song. <laughs> I already did mind. love. <laughs> Put it on your mic. Let's sing a birthday song in okay. English. On one, song. two, three. Happy hey, one, two, three. Birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Can synchronize up. <laughs> Happy birthday, birthday to, you. to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. <laughs> He's the youngest. Oh, yeah. Wow. Is. So, what is your wish for this year, Nasrullah? Or what uh, are your hopes? To become a better human being. Uh. Oh, wow. <laughs> and also EVP, uh, EVP, inshallah. You just touched 20, right? Yes, I'm already old. 
Sorry. Has a change Excuse of decade. Me. Excuse me. If you are say 20 is old, what about us? Uh, young Ed, Hannah, young Ed. We are all legends. Hey, Nasrullah, we are Nasrullah, years older than I'm you. Only, yeah. Nasrullah, I'm only five years older than you, but I feel young. <laughs> Wait, Fahna's 25. Yes, you skinny old. orang semua, uh, you know, young. young. Azaha, I'm 25. I know you're 45, but sorry, I'm only 25. Nah, don't be in denial, okay? I'm not in denial. Stop counting at 25. <laughs> you have to review my age in Zoom. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Never mind. I know I look younger than Sophie. And Myla, now you look more chiseled, so it's okay. Okay, yeah, teacher is here ready. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Teacher is here. Typical classroom. Already. Good afternoon, Madam Rosiani. <laughs> we, we had fun. Kauja kat mana? Ketawa, ketawa. Miss Uji, Uji is not around. Ah. Super duper creepy driver you are. <laughs> Fana, what are you eating? Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, I'm guiltily eating Himalayan salt. Huh? Oh, you mean the sweet lah? Yeah, the candy, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. It looks as if you're eating some samoy or something. I did my <laughs> KFC. Yeah. No, I just am appreciating whatever that I put in my mouth, even if I it's Himalayan salt. I did my KFC, salt. I cannot find a space other than KFC. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> Tomorrow, my turn. Oh, no. My fault, okay? Okay. Uh, Roger, so you're eating KFC. Let's continue. Can we continue? Can. Okay. I'm about to go for KFC also. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, just kidding. Huh? Okay, okay, let's go. Hello, Madam Rosiani. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, children. <laughs> Alamak, my computer. Yeah, sorry ya. Yeah. Yes, cikgu is back. <laughs> okay, okay. So next, uh, just now we talk about the swimming and cycling, right? Okay, how about cycling, this? Yep. Cardio or... Ex uh, sorry, aerobic or strength exercise. Okay? Now again, these two, right? There's no right and wrong also because... Uh, but actually, aerobic can burn more. Okay, uh, let me check this up. Uh. Aerobic can burn more because uh, it actually gives you the... Uh, more. I mean, can burn more calories because you're moving more. Okay, but uh, your me uh, your metabolism may stay elevated longer when you do weights, okay, or strength exercise. Okay, compared to the aerobic one. Okay, so uh, and weightlifting or strength exercise is good for uh, muscle building. Okay, so these two you can uh can combine them also. Yeah, B is. Farid say B is good for sustained fat loss due to muscle building. Yes, correct. Okay, so we need these two. But if you want to lose uh, the fats or raise up your metabolism faster, it will be aerobic exercise. Okay? Strength probably later when you start building your uh, muscle. Okay? Okay, next one. Okay, so actually the guide, right, is also the same. 3, 3, 3, 3. 3 times a week, at least 30 minutes every time. And you heartbeat 130 uh, per minute. Okay, don't, so this one, if you have a fit beat, it's good. If not, it's okay. As long as you do three times a week, 30 minutes each time, and three months for the for the whole three months. Okay, the most important thing is we want you to adopt a healthy lifestyle. Not just that, oh, because I'm in TR90, I will do the exercise. But if I'm not in TR90, I will not do the exercise. So it's no such thing, okay? We want you to be active, okay? So if you really have a lot of excuses, I encourage you when you go out for your, I mean, go out to work, okay, and you come back from work, maybe you can take the stairs, okay? So by taking the stairs, right, it's going to make you work out, okay? Definitely, you have to go up to your uh, home, so you will uh, go up the stairs, okay? If you have problem with your knee, maybe it's not easy for you to uh, go down the stairs, but going up should be no problem, okay? 
Yes, correct. Okay. Um, okay, yes, yes. If you run or you cycle, right, also there's a injury uh, because of the wear and tear. And, yeah, let me see this one. Yeah. So, if you don't build up slowly, right, your muscle, you will have some injury also. Okay, which I also noticed uh, when I saw some people posting on Facebook, you know, they run and then we have swollen uh, this and that. Okay, so... Go slow, but the most important thing is be consistent. Especially when you are already uh, a certain age, uh, okay, you feel that uh, you do not, uh, you are not able to exercise as much or as uh, as uh, strong as when you were younger. Okay, so uh, that's the reason why TR90 is the best. Your body needs support. Okay. Okay, let's go on to the next one. <laughs> okay. Now, I just want to show these slides to remind everybody that if you if you or your client insist that you want to uh, have a cheat day, okay, but let me advise everybody, if you are in this program for the 90 days, do not have any cheat days because it's not going to help you at all. Okay, remember, you are already building the facts for very, very long, many years. Okay, and just three months, you cannot uh, be... Uh, how to say, uh, be more persevere and uh, stop yourself from munching those sinful food, okay? So, if you insist on eating all those, like, for example, you want to go for your Starbucks coffee, right? Then you have to jog for 16 minutes, okay? If you want to just take three pieces of the Oreo cookies, then you have to <laughs> play golf. <laughs> okay, no, basically, can you see the calories that you are taking? Okay, pepperoni pizza. Banana, okay, banana is actually treat day. Sadia, after the program, can treat day, right? But in the program 90 days, right, those who have successfully lose weight is because they do not have any treat days. That's from my experience also. Okay, Farid say, uh, use this formula, 220 minus H equal maximum hour. So do 60 to 70% for fat loss range. Okay, thank no, you. No, maximum, so maximum heart rate, maximum heart rate, not maximum hour. <laughs> maximum heart rate. Okay, thank you for the abbreviation. <laughs> okay. okay, then he mentioned that hummus for has good protein and low calories. Ah, yes. But I haven't... Okay, I do not know how to uh, prepare. So maybe if you all know, maybe you can share from the chat. Thank you so much. So just take note that all this, if you go for... Okay, during this program, right, go for simple food. Okay, don't go for those, you know, like, uh, I want to drink soda, I want to drink... Uh, cocoa, uh, coffee can, but the calorie is slightly more than plain water, okay? Okay, then you can also suggest to your client or yourself, right, to do the HIIT workout. It's just a simple workout at home where you can uh, adjust accordingly, okay? So, if you feel that, okay, like here, uh, in this photo here, is a 12 minutes. It's every one minute you do one, uh, one uh, workout, okay? And then, uh, if you feel that, okay, I'm tired, you can rest. Okay, so it's up to you to check. And then, we also have uh, some uh, workout where it's for those elderly people. Okay, like, uh, they call it the walk. Okay, so you can, you know, uh, Google and type in YouTube and then you can follow it as well. So, there's no excuses for those who do not work out. So, if I insist, uh, if as a consultant, right, I will insist or I will suggest ways and things where your client will want to work out. So, maybe some ways is you can, you yourself as a consultant go out and do a workout with your uh, client, okay? And if you need help, you can ask those who are, you know, uh, into this, which uh, like Iqbal, Suhaimi, we can do a workout together, okay? And I think every Sunday, we also have the workout. I do not know whether tomorrow you all will be having a workout, but we have workout every Sunday as well. So, these are just uh, things to spur everyone to start working out and enjoy working out. Okay, Azhar say tomorrow there's the there's a workout. Okay, so you can join at 9 a.m. Kalang Stadium, right? It can see Kalang, uh, Kalang area lah. Kalang, Kalang Wave Mall. Okay. Outside the Kalang Wave Mall. Okay, now uh, that's so much about the exercising part. So the next one is uh this for for me right this TR90 consultant course. Everyone of us here as a consultant, right? You must be equipped with the reason why. People, everybody must take H log TR90 system. Definitely. So what's the reason? Because okay, we are science-based company. Okay, TR90 has been around and uh, we are already world's number sorry, 
in Singapore is the weight management program number one weight management program for three consecutive years okay and being a science-based company is all about measurement okay so we have clinical studies open label single arm uh, you know, design okay it's a 90 days on 90 days on full TR90 program where uh, they actually do a studies for 40 on 45 women and 21 men completed okay the studies okay so those are the details Okay, so proven that after 90 days of program, the body fat percentage decrease. Okay, so this is already proven. And every uh, body measurement after 90 days, right, the waist, the hip, the arm, the, an the ankle circumference all decrease. Okay, so it is proven based on all those women that we are uh, women and men that have taken part in the survey. Okay, and 85% uh, notice change in body silhouettes and 98% said clothes fit better. This one is definite as a definite. So uh, as a consultant, right, I would really love to take photo of them, of course, before the program. And then every time they hit the 2.5 kilo of fat, you have to take their photo, uh, don't forget, including the photo of them showing the weight and also the body fat. And one month, I also insist to take the photo. Most of the client will say, no, la, I don't see any changes. I think it's just common, is it? That they want to like tell us that, hey, I don't see any changes. So no, I insist I must take your photo. And true enough, all their photos have changes. Okay, so this is to give them a motivation and to tell them that TR90 work. That one is very important. And another important fact that I realize is if our client believe in the program and believe us and trust, the result is much better. Okay. If those who just want to experiment and try out TR90, usually it doesn't work. Okay. So the program is fair. It works for those people who trust it. Okay. So one month, I take photo. Two, second month also, I will take photo. Okay. Now, how to achieve success with TR90? Okay. Very important is the right measurement. Okay. So I don't have a model, but never mind. I have the photos that uh, give you a good uh, example for you to see how you can measure. Okay, for those, uh, if you are uh, weighing your friend or yourself on the Karada, right? Okay, Karada machine, the Omron Karada machine is a very important tool for all TR90 consultants. It's best to invest on your own, okay? Because this is your weapon. This is the tool that is going to help you help more people, okay? So, please have yourself one uh, Karada mach uh, machine, okay? Everybody, yeah? so if you want to be a TR90 consultant, you have to own one, okay? Now, when you measure someone, right, you have to make sure that the person is straightened, uh, straighten the back and legs, and then when they hold the uh, arm, make sure it's 90 degrees, okay? And the, uh, in case you notice that some of your clients or friends say that, how come when I measure your Karada and when I compare with my weighing scale, yours uh, seems like I'm weighing more? Yes, because when you raise up your hand, it is slightly heavier, okay? So, please take note on that, okay? Okay, things to take note, the right method to measure is use the same measurement scale. Uh, please, if let's say you bring your outline, okay, still use your own measurement scale. So use the same one, don't change because it will be different. Okay, measure at the same period of time if possible. So if it's not possible, you must explain to your client that, oh, you must uh, uh, expect that there will be some changes uh, or may not be that accurate when I take at a different time of the day, okay? because of the body composition ah. and wear the same clothes to measure okay measure one or two times a week okay for us we just measure once a week okay that's good enough and please if very important your omron should be placed on a hard level surface not on carpeted ah. because if you put it on a carpet it's not uh, accurate okay it's gonna be uh, yeah because it's soft okay so you must place it on a hard level surface okay uh okay okay so uh these are the measurement we have the body uh the food diary right so very easy uh everything is there so i want all consultant you must write it down and after you write write it down right usually which is no not usually all the time your client will keep the food diary because they're supposed to record their food right what they, they take okay so as a consultant i advise everyone to take photo of the measurement or take note somewhere Okay, so that you know, uh, 
because there are cases where our clients don't know where they put the food diary. Okay? <laughs> so, that's the thing lah. So, as a consultant, it's our responsibility to keep also. Okay. Another thing to take note is do not measure under the following exceptional circumstances because the measurement results may be inaccurate. Okay, for example, after uh, exercise, after sauna, <laughs> after drinking lots of water or eating a meal. Okay, it will not be accurate. Okay, but I understand sometimes it's not easy to find a good timing for them, right? So, uh, you have to, uh, yes, correct Azhar. So, you have to uh, address this issue. You must tell them that, oh, the reason why it's not accurate is because I told you we are not supposed to take after your meal. Okay? Yeah, actually after an hour should be okay. Because from my experience also, when I measure like just immediately, maybe 10, 20 minutes, okay? Uh, especially the measurement, okay? When you take the body measurement using the measuring tape, uh, it's slightly, uh, ex like the body is expanded, okay? <laughs> so, uh, it's best to take probably an hour after exercise, okay? Or before exercise. Okay. Why the measurement result is different if compared between morning and evening? Okay, for your information, the water content of the human body will be changing from day to night. Okay, we are alive, huh, our body. And the current flow, okay, the Omron machine uses battery, right? So, for your information, uh, they use this, uh, the current will go through, that's why we are supposed to remove our socks or that or if you are using stockings, okay? So, you have to step on the carada using your bare skin, your bare leg or that. And then the current will go through, will flow through our body. And when it hit the fat composition, right, the density of the body fat is slightly different from density of water and density of muscle. So that's why, that's how they actually uh, create that uh, measurement for you in terms of body fat, muscle, etc. Okay. So uh, in the different time of the day, our body, uh, I mean, our water composition also change. That's why after you... After a meal, okay, after you go sauna, it's not accurate to go and uh, measure your body fat, okay? So, different timing will result differently. So, if uh, if you have a client who is very uh, consistent, every week you ca can come and measure at the same time, that will be the best, okay? Okay, most welcome, Azhar. Oh, yeah, Natasha also have to remove the ring. Yeah, if you are wearing jewelry or you are wearing jeans, okay, jeans, right? That one, uh, Farid say weigh one kilo, <laughs> the jeans, the denim, denim. Yeah? So you have to change to a lighter clothing, okay? Okay, so measurement in different time of the, uh, different time of the day, wait, wait, will affect the measurement result. Yes, in general, uh, after getting up or after eating for more than two hours, the, it's best to actually measure. Uh, yes, Farid say jeans weigh 1 kg and wear light sportswear also will be good for men. Okay, avoid measurement after strenuous exercise, sauna or shower or after drinking large amount of water or food within 1 to 2 hours. Okay, so I think after 1 hour will be good or after 2 hours will be best. Okay. Okay, now this is another thing that uh, I want uh, everyone to take note because Okay, this is a question where weight reduced but body fat remains unchanged. Okay, but don't uh, forget that the body fat here, we are talking about the percentage fat. Okay, so body fat percentage remain unchanged doesn't mean actual body fat no change. Okay, so you, uh, I think you all know, right, in the food diary, you are supposed to calculate the actual body fat in kg. So, this one, uh, if you are not sure, you can ask your mentor, but basically take the weight times the body fat in percentage and you can get the body fat in kilo. Okay. Then, of course, you have to minus from the initial uh, body fat and you will you can calculate how much body fat that person uh, reduced. Eh, sorry, uh, lost. Okay. And if they don't lose the body fat, most important, um, most probably, okay, 100% is because of the food that they eat. So, this is the interesting part about uh, TR90 program, right? When you as a consultant measure your client every week. I have client who say that, if this week you also want to measure, yes, say yes. Then when I measure right and the result is not good, I will always tell that person, is it because you ate something sinful recently? Then they agree. Okay, so this is to tell everybody that any changes, uh, anything that you eat recently, right, will affect the composition of your body. Okay, it's, our body is very dynamic. Okay, it is not like something, oh, I lost the fats already, so when you eat anything, 
I will not gain in the fat. No, no such thing. Okay, it is dynamic. So after TR90 program, if your client do not want to change the lifestyle to a healthy lifestyle, he or she can go back to uh when they started or probably slightly uh, slightly lesser, but they can gain weight. Okay, so please uh, remind them. Even like for all of us, I mean for the TR90 consultant who. You know, sometimes people tell me that, hey, Rosiani, you small, right? That's why you 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 can, you know, maintain your weight. And I said, no, <laughs> we actually actively take uh, charge of our, what we eat. Okay, we we are not, doesn't mean that I'm small, means I, I don't become fat, okay? <laughs> uh, I, I mean, short people can also be fat and it's quite bad, uh, the shape, okay? <laughs> so, I take care. So, I always tell my, uh, my client, no, no, I actually take care of my food also and I do brisk walking and things like that. Yes, so this program, so this uh, thing about maintaining weight, right, it is an active process. It's not like one time I take this program, right, I lose, and then after that I gain weight, right, oh no, TR90 is not good. No, it's not TR90 is not good. It's you or if your friend is not uh, take, changing their lifestyle to a healthy one, right, you can never change, okay? Uh, the same goes for any program, okay? But it's easier with TR90 because you build the muscle. So when you build the muscle, the metabolism will increase Okay, after the three months. Okay, next you need to measure their body uh, shape composition, their body, right? So, okay, uh, let me stand up. Huh? So if you want to measure their uh, arm, okay, it depends on how you want to measure it. Probably you want to measure like this person, right? Based on this side of the arm. Okay, like for me, I just use... Okay, you know that at our elbow here, okay, there's a line here. So, I will measure 10 cm from that line. Okay, and then I will, after I measure 10 cm from that line, I will just measure the circumference of the arm. Okay, but if you want to measure like the photo here, be consistent. Okay, the idea here is be consistent. So, uh, it's best only one person must take the measurement. Okay, so next, next week, you cannot say, okay, next week I get my uh, sister or my upline to measure. It will not be consistent, right? Because different people will measure differently. Okay, and our body got shape, ah. <laughs> so sometimes you your measuring tape, right? Okay, let me show you, ah. Ah, especially the waist here. Okay, uh, when you are measuring the waist, you are actually uh, using the belly button. Okay, our belly button as the point for us to be accurate for be consistent for the whole measurement, right? So from the belly button, just go straight around the waist. Okay. It's not as easy as this photo because different people have different body shape. Huh? So if you have measured many people, you understand what I mean. Okay? Especially when the tummy is big, right? The belly button is lowered. <laughs> so sometimes like I feel like you no know, space. I cannot see space to measure, right? So you have to use your uh what? Uh, your common sense also lah, okay? So you and another thing is you know, sometimes the area here, the area at the waist, right, there's a lot of curves. So you as the consultant, you must know which area you are taking for the measurement for the waist. But try to be as sterile as possible. Alamak, Liana, your cat's so cute. <laughs> okay, next one. Ab uh, abdominal, you just take 5 cm from the belly button and then you go around. Okay? Um, you can ask your client to uh, turn around. But for me, I prefer to go around that person. Okay, we also exercise lah. But <laughs> please remember again, sometimes, uh, as I said, right, the belly button may be lowered. Sometimes the space is not so accurate also and it's quite uh, cramped. So you try your best to measure accordingly, okay? And the other one is the hip, which is 10 cm. Again, just 10 cm below the belly button. Okay, don't care whether it doesn't touch the hip and things like that. <laughs> but just follow according to the belly button. And for people who are very, very, uh, the tummy is huge, right? It's very big. I will personally measure extra, which I will measure either 5 cm or 10 cm above the belly button. Because if I, I find there's a lot of uh, space wasted up there <laughs> if you don't measure. And most uh, high chances that when that person slim down, right, the measurement above the belly button can show. Because that's where the, yeah, pinggang and punggung, right? <laughs> Oh, you don't know, eh, Liana? Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah. Must know, uh, must relate to them, okay? Okay. Hi. Okay, like this photo, right? They follow the... 
abdomen is like ber perut lah, right? <laughs> okay, the kneecap, right? Okay, like this uh, photo, they measure from the kneecap in front. Okay, but I prefer to measure behind the knee. Okay, behind the kneecap, right, there is a line also. So, from the back, right, I will measure 10 cm up. Okay, and then I measure the circumference. Okay. Then, for the calf, is also the same. I will use, yeah, that line at the back. So, please use the same starting point now, when you measure the 10 cm or the 5 cm below. Okay, so that's why for the waist, abdominal and hip, we follow the belly button. Okay. <laughs> Okay lah, then what you want to call it, call it right? Have to be perut, okay? Okay, some of the questions, you know, that maybe uh, you are not sure or maybe it's quite popular. Okay, but, uh, basically, can pregnant lady or breastfeeding mother undergo age lock PR90? Okay, definitely pregnant, we shouldn't recommend PR90, okay? Okay, and actually for breastfeeding also, it's not encouraged lah. But uh, I also, uh, I have started one lady who is breastfeeding on PR90 and she did well because I still feel that uh, if she wants to because she is very very uh, overweight okay, and her body fat is very high so I feel that she has enough <laughs> fats you know for her baby okay but uh, I'm very confident that PR90 is safe for breastfeeding mother and in fact it should be the best okay because when the mother is breastfeeding the mother is having a lot of nutrients okay nutrition from the supplement and then it can give the baby. But if you are not sure or you feel that, okay, it's okay, after uh, six months or more, yeah, after six months or four months, the, the when the baby is four or six months old, okay, and already introduced to solid food, then you can start the mother, okay, on TR90, okay, so you can follow up, okay. But from nutritional point of view, the following Pharmanex product, okay, you can recommend because it contains very good nutrients for, you know, fetal development and things like that. So, Life pack, very important, marine omega or opti omega. So if you cannot introduce the R90, you can introduce life pack, marine omega, G3, okay, and trim shake is okay, and then pro bio PCC, okay. So these are the uh, supplements that you re can recommend, okay. Then follow up uh, for those uh, mothers, okay, because uh, if they want to, uh, I mean, uh, heal, also is good to actually. Uh, lose those uh, unwanted pets. Okay. Okay. How about this? Which is very common, right? For Singaporeans, for individuals who always eat outside food and socialize, how can do? How could they benefit from H lock TR ninety program? Okay. This is the reality of fact that people sometimes cannot uh, cook their own food, and they love to socialize and they have to socialize. But I think the situation right now more more uh, more more people stay at home lah than eating outside so i think it's quite good okay so but anyway if you meet such people right maybe you can teach them really really uh teach them uh, to really choose the food when they eat out so choose low in fat sugar salt means try to get stall that is uh can give you healthier food okay and then uh, eat food that is high in fiber so you can uh, keep yourself full longer okay Again, home cook food, uh, home cook food during weekend and holiday. So you must uh, take note of your clients' uh, pattern, uh, and then you try to uh, give them suggestions. Okay, if you are not sure, you can always check with your mentor. Okay, and beware of high calorie uh, drinks. Okay, such as sugary drinks. Yes, drinks is a very very important one because you they they didn't sometimes they they didn't know that the by drinking you know. Maybe bubble tea or maybe tea, okay? And when they drink tea or coffee, right, suggest a healthier version, okay? But if they can change, like, you know, during this uh, three months, if you stop your coffee for this three months, is it okay? If they say okay, then good. If not, you give a healthier alternative, like, for example, drink coffee o kosong, okay? Or if they still insist on having milk, then maybe you can ask, just add the fresh milk, which is low fat, <coughs> Ah, yes, drink can be a challenge, right? Because they're addicted. But again, see how much uh, is their desire. Lah. Because like my mom, my mom is a coffee addict. But during the three months, right, she totally stopped coffee. <coughs> okay, dry. <coughs> okay. And people who always socialize, okay? For example, if they drink, alcohol they drink or they eat too oily or too much protein so, so those are the 
effect ah. <coughs> and please uh, do not worry uh, some of these uh, our clients right sometimes when they start taking the tr they get gout attack so you do not panic you uh, address the issue and then you ask them is it uh, you know is it because your food is too oily because our trim shake should be okay but sometimes because remember our program right is uh, we want to get rid of the toxin so sometimes the body is just uh, getting rid of the toxins through all this so from my experience right uh, some of my client those who have already have gout attack like before the r their gout still uh, they still have gout attack but uh, it is not so uh, what uh, the it's not so uh, painful as before okay so you advise accordingly, give them the confidence that, hey, this TR90 is correct, it's the right way to take and just continue. But if they cannot write, maybe you can uh, advise them to take uh, Panadol or Painkiller, okay, just for a short while. Or maybe you can ask them to cut down uh, on those food that is on high protein, okay, maybe slightly lower down the protein intake for a while, for a short while and monitor again, okay. Uh, wait, uh, what is this? Okay, salty food, all that have to cut down uh, because all these are not good for the health. Okay, so uh, I want, because recently, like I mentioned before, right, I recently have a client who is so, uh, she is not so confident about taking uh, supplements because she has fatty liver. Okay, but then she argue with me, not she going to argue, but she, uh, she negotiate with me. If, let's say she can take this, she can take that. In fact, today, <laughs> she's going for a buffet, okay. <laughs> So I already told her, right? Then she said, oh, wasted lah. I cannot eat the food in the buffet. Then I told her, no, you are actually being safe because if you eat unhealthy food, right, then it will be more wasted. Because when you are unhealthy, your whole family will not be happy. Okay, because they will worry for you. Then she thanked me for reminding her and keep on uh, supporting her in her healthy journey lah. So please, uh, you must uh, keep on giving them uh, encouragement and then give them uh, support and then uh, keep on praising them if they're really able to control their food intake, okay? In fact, I tell them or I tell her that your food is more dangerous than this TR90, <laughs> okay? So please take note of the food that you eat because I always tell her, uh, please inform your family that I have, I'm eating healthy because I am having a fatty liver, right? So I must eat healthy and take care of my uh, liver health. So she follow my advice. So next week is uh, her first week of uh, measurement. So hopefully it's all good. Okay. Okay. How about this? I I'm also aware that there's a lot of us are working uh inconsistent working schedule, working shift. You know, uh, working night shift. So would TR ninety still work on them? It does, but you have to adjust uh, accordingly, and it's not so easy for these people. Okay, because of their irregular uh, timing okay so please take note of this first meal from waking up is considered as breakfast okay so if they are working night shift right when they are come back from work and they want to sleep although in the morning that is considered their sleeping time okay so you have to uh, consider it as dinner so if they want to eat before they sleep they must take the uh, trim shape okay so please take note of this and also, advise them that long-term inconsistent working lifestyle might cause body's hormonal balance right in, not in good condition. So, the pace of weight change may be slower, which is true. I've experienced this many, um, those who are on uh, night shift or you know, working shift, right? their uh, result with TR90 may not be very fast. Okay? But if they continuously take care of it, right, it's going to help them a lot. But you must address this issue first when you meet them. And uh, like for example, my husband who has been working, uh, you know, shift for many years, okay, he is really, really uh, putting in a lot of effort to make his body be healthy, you know, because, uh, you know, the working environment, the in not enough sleep, right, is really not uh, helping the the health the body at all. Okay, so he has to take in extra extra effort, and of course, must take the supplement. Can add uh, R squared and Y span also. Okay, especially R squared is good because it helps to detox the liver. Because at night your liver is supposed to rest, okay, and it, uh yeah rest and recuperate. But if you are still working, right, means your liver is working extra hard. So taking the R squared is gonna help the liver, okay. Okay, 
Ah uh, yes, uh, just now about the painkiller. Uh, sorry. Okay, how could vegetarian and elderly benefit from HLOC TR90 program? Definitely will benefit. Okay, for vegetarian, right, six portion of non-meat protein per day. So they have no choice. They cannot get the meat protein. So you ask them to change to six portion of non-meat protein. Okay. Okay, product, uh, the product capsules gelatin, right, are uh, made from bovine sources. So vegetarian must remove capsule before consuming, lah, okay. So this is some uh, some extra thing. But I think in the future, hopefully, they're going to make a uh, uh, capsule made of, veg uh, made, made of vegetable, okay. Okay. And educate of non-meat protein also can help to supply for the need of muscle maintenance. Okay, so uh, actually those uh, vegetarian, right, you may think that, oh, they are not eating meat. So probably they are uh, healthier. But sometimes those, uh, if you look, go for the vegetarian uh, food store, right, you can see that a lot of the food are made up of uh, flour, you know, and then they are fried. So also unhealthy. So by taking the TR90, is definitely good for them, okay? Ah, how about elderly? Elderly is a definite, yes, if they take TRNIT, it's going to help them because it's going to increase their muscle quantity for better health. Okay, and improve bowel movement. This one, I uh, agree to it because my late grandmother, when we started her on TRNIT, it's not for her to really slim down, but her, uh, her breathing is improved and then she can control her bowel movement. Okay, so, and she can walk faster. Okay, so it helps her a lot. Okay, so better quality of life. Okay, another thing is for individuals who used to dieting before undergoing TR90 program, means they uh, they have taken uh, some other program before like uh, keto, uh, yeah, keto diet and then intermittent fasting and also meal replacement. Okay, sometimes uh, the, uh, the body is, uh, takes time to adjust to TR90 also. Okay. So, if you notice this, slow weight loss progress due to low metabolic rate. Okay, so you must address that issue also. And must be patient in order to break the cut-off weight stagnation period by rebuilding a healthy eating habit. So, if you look at the graph, right, when your body is uh, losing weight, right, there will be stagnant period. Okay, because our body is alive, our body is dynamic, it takes it needs time to adjust. Cannot be like losing and losing and losing. There will be some uh, cases where you need to, there's a stagnant uh, period, okay? So, you must address that, okay? Uh, thank you, Sharon. Yeah, Hindus would need to be informed as there is beef content. Yes, correct. Thank you so much for addressing this. Yes, we have to inform them uh, that uh, there's a beef content, okay? So, uh, it depends on, uh, I mean, they have. They will decide uh, whether they want to take the TR90 or not, okay? Now, uh, for those who, uh, who have experienced uh, other weight loss program or the body is already being, uh, you know, I wouldn't say abuse lah, but uh, going through certain program where they have to take meal replacement and that, this is really what happened. Okay, so uh, slowly increase food intake to regulate body metabolism. And some, those who are taking like slimming tea, I think I mentioned before that uh, their uh, intestine is not strong enough. Okay, so it takes time. And sometimes they feel like, how come when I take the TR90, I cannot pass motion? Okay, it's because since many years they have been taking slimming tea, right? So, the muscles of their intestine is not thick. Okay, so when they start TR90 and they stop the slimming tea, they cannot pass motion normally. Okay, so you have to address the issue also. Okay, Okay, so gradually meet the protein requirement first, then followed by vegetable, fruits, and lastly, carbohydrate. Okay, and you also can encourage them to increase their exercise. Okay, uh, I also noticed that if uh, clients who refuse to follow the food intake, right? For example, they say that, no, 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 I cannot take fruits. I cannot take vegetable. The result is also very, very slow. Okay, so they have to uh, try their best to have all the, you know, the protecting food, the burning food, and the storing food all together. Okay. But be uh, confident that TR90 is safe. So that is very, very important. So any issue that your client has, right, it has to do with their uh, prior to their medical condition okay, of their body, prior to TR90 lah. Okay, so I've completed HLOC TR90 program. What should I do? Okay, now please as consultant, we are consultant, right? So you must teach them the right way and educate them the right way to have a healthy lifestyle. Okay, so after the initial 90 day, right, you can evaluate the progress. And if they have, and let's say your client haven't reached their goal, right? You can place them on the second 90 day phase because you uh, probably can lose about 
6 to 12 kilo of uh, weight, kilo in weight. So if they are right, 30 kilo uh, overweight, definitely they, from the first day one, right, you can say that be prepared to take the second and the third set. Okay? But still, still worth it. Okay, it's a worth, uh, I mean, it's a very good investment for your body. Okay? And if you have reached your target goal, you enter the maintenance phase, right? So maybe you can continue, not maybe, you must continue with the TR90 eating plan as well as continue to implement uh, physical activity. And if you want, you can continue, which for me, I will encourage lah, my client to take, continue the trim shake and life pack. Okay, and then you start to introduce other uh, supplement, probably the r squared or the y span, okay, the marine omega and things like that. Okay, so you can attend our... Uh, class on uh, Pharmanex training, okay? Then you can learn more about it. Okay, and I advise everyone here, even if you are only a TR90 client, right, I advise you, be a TR90 consultant, okay? Now, you can take it as a career, you can take it as a side uh, gig, okay? <laughs> side income as a gig, okay? Why not, right? Because you have gone through the program, uh, you benefit from the program, so you can share with another person. And what are the benefits? A lot of people say, I want to join this job right so what's the benefits right so sorry yeah, wrong spelling <laughs> the benefit is help yourself and family because uh in order for you to be in a healthy lifestyle right you have to uh like i say this is an active intervention it's not like uh forget about it i don't want to you know be healthy i just eat anything no you will go back to your normal weight right so you have to be uh consistent okay so when you are in this uh program or if you choose to be a, con a consultant right you know the person you advise right the person the, the the person who hear your advice is your own your own yes <laughs> okay when i talk to people to eat healthily to don't take fried food okay i'm talking to myself so when i'm talking to other people i'm actually telling myself rosiani you have to eat healthy also okay which is good right then after that you can uh, advise on your family members okay and why must be in a TR90 consultant? Because when you are a TR90 consultant, you are in the right circle. The right circle, what I mean by right circle, is circle of friends who are also together wanting to be healthy. Okay, right? There's an other circle who wants you to <laughs> eat waffle, right? <laughs> other circles who ask you to eat dessert, right? So, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I also have my waffle circle, okay? But <laughs> I eat, uh, we share the waffle, okay? Okay, and... Uh, not only that, you will help others lose fats the right way. There are so many programs out there. TR90 is the right uh, way to lose fats, okay? And TR90 consultant, you will NTH because you are all, uh, always uh, taking care of your food, always exercising, taking the supplement, okay? And you get personal satisfaction. Who here has experienced personal satisfaction when you help your friend to lose weight? Yes. Okay, we feel good. Okay, and... You earn more money. How to earn more money? Why not, right? You know, there's a lot of people out there who become life coach, business coach. Why not you become a health coach? Okay, and this health coach, you teach person the right way to eat and there's a support by this company called Uskin that allows you to use their amazing product which is the uh, which is backed by science, okay? Have Digilock technology which is a $10 billion worth of technology, okay? And you have education where you keep on learning. Okay, so what do you get, right? When you help one person, you get referral fee of $100. Or why not start your team of TR90 consultants, okay? Like for me and some of my leaders here, we are, we have a very big mission to help the uh, community, our own community to lose weight the right way. Okay, so uh, when we do it alone, if I'm the only TR90 consultant, my progress must be slow, right? So if I have a team of TR90 consultants, then everybody help uh, their own circle then we can help more people in the community, okay? Uh, Briani circle? Okay, not me. <laughs> I'm not into Briani. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, so uh, thank you so much for uh, tuning in. Okay, let me stop the sharing first. Okay, before I end my sharing, right, I want to share this video. Okay, I hope I can share. Remember, I told you that we want to, uh, I mean, we have a choice here. All of us here are young, right? So we have the choice to age gracefully or age naturally okay so i give you an example okay, wait 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 oh sorry yeah okay i want to give example how what i mean by aging gracefully yeah 
Can you see this? Can you see the video? I mean, can you see the photo? Right. Yes. Thank you. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, the lady in red, right? Monitor lah. She's 71 years old. Now older already. Yeah, now older. Would you like to be like this at 71? <laughs> to be healthy yes let's yep. be healthy for life okay and so we need the right uh, circle together we need uh, yeah because we need uh, we are you know human beings we are weak you know we tend to eat uh, sinful food we love dessert right and we are lazy we don't want to exercise so we need other people to encourage us so let's uh, grow our team of PR90 consultant okay so this is one set of PR90 consultant right so if you have a uh, you have attended the module one to four. Okay, I'll give you the virtual certificate. Then uh, probably, okay, next uh, week will be our new skin live. Okay, let me off the recording. Huh? Okay.